Skoda have revealed a 25,000 euro, around 25,000 US dollar electric car. And it's coming out next year. It actually looks pretty good. This isn't like Ford saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, we're going to make a $25,000 car and it's going to be blah, blah, blah. This is actually true. This is a real story. And here are the real details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. And this car is pretty good. I mean, this is not a big car. Yeah, but it's not expensive either. The new Skoda Epic is a $25,000 small electric SUV, which is coming next year. Skoda are committed to EVs. There's six new electric cars coming from the brand by 2026, but it's gonna keep offering internal combustion, they say, as long as customers are demanding it. Now, Skoda unveiled the Epic, which is a subcompact electric SUV. It's coming out next year. Price will be, it's around 27,000 US dollars at the current exchange rate. It's got a pretty decent size to it. Not big, but you know, it's probably the size of say something like a Toyota Corolla, but as you can see, it's sort of jacked up a little bit. Range apparently is more than 400 kilometers, so over 250 miles. Not bad for this price. How big is this car? It's actually a similar size to something like a BYD Dolphin, but as you can see, it looks very different to a Dolphin. It looks a lot more like an SUV. It's only 4.1 meters long though. That's 161.4 inches long. So it's similar to the dimensions of a Skoda Fabia. The exterior, it looks, I think, pretty good. I've got to say they've done a great, a great job on the rear. Uh, the side, it looks fantastic, that LED kind of lighting on the side that, you know, overall the designer should, you know, pat himself on the back. I think that really looks, really looks fantastic, even on the inside as well. Very simple, very clean on the inside. The question is, will this car be penalized by the European Union's uh, change to their safety regulations, saying that you have to have buttons for everything now. If you don't, we're going to penalize you for your safety standards. You know, I, mean, I don't know about what's going to happen with that, but the interior either way, to me, looks like a big winner. Exterior, interior, the price, we're, we're really on a, a good win streak here. The Skoda Vision 7S concept is really what this vehicle looks a lot like. One of the things I notice here, guys, it's got oversized skid plates that double as intakes. It's got roof rails. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it looks off-roady. Is it off-road? Is it off suitable for off-roading? No, absolutely not. Anyway, Skoda says it's going to have a huge amount of space. So this is a pretty small car, but it's got 490 liters of boot space. That's 17.3 cubic feet. Now, to give you some context here, the boot of the Toyota Corolla is 290 liters. It's nearly double the size of boot versus a Toyota Corolla. I mean, honestly, if you're gonna to go to a dealership and you choose for the same price to buy a Toyota Corolla versus this, you must be the dumbest, dumbest idiot I've ever met in my life. I mean, come on, seriously. This car looks so much better. The boot size, you actually fit things in it. You can actually, you know, you've gotta seriously think hard about what pram you buy if you buy a Toyota Corolla. I don't understand why a million of them are being sold every year. It doesn't make any sense. All right, guys, aside from the fact that this is affordable. The fact that they've packaged this car so well to make the boot have this much space, 490 liters, I mean, that means the boot is about the same size. In fact, no, the boot is significantly bigger than the boot in the BYD Addo 3. This could be a real serious contender here. I mean, we're all talking about BYD, you know, Tesla's $25,000 car, maybe Volkswagen Group are gonna pull something off here. What else do we know? Well, it's got a minimalist dashboard a large freestanding infotainment display, a smaller digital instrument cluster right in front of the driver. It's got futuristic two-spoke steering wheel. I think that steering wheel looks quite nice with integrated buttons. It's got an ultra slim climate vents, a mobile digital key, wireless charging storage compartment located beneath a cluster of physical buttons on the center console. So it does have a few buttons there, but still not that many really. So Skoda haven't detailed any technical specifications, but they've said it will have a range of plus 250 miles. So, you know, over 400 kilometers. In addition to that, starting in 2025, production of the Skoda Epic will be housed at the Volkswagen Group EV plant in Spain. It'll be built alongside the Volkswagen ID2 and the Cupra Raval. Now, I think it's very likely the Volkswagen Group will manufacture these EVs as well for uh, countries like Southeast Asia, China, uh, Australia, Thailand, Malaysia, manufacture them in China. 
as well. It won't, the Spain plant will just be for the European sales. Now, Skoda has been investing in EVs pretty significantly, and it thinks that these cars, it thinks it can outsell Tesla. That's what Skoda's saying. They're saying they're going to outsell Tesla in Europe with their new EVs, which are going to literally wipe the floor. They've basically been very, very bold in what they're saying about how they're going to take on Tesla and take down Tesla. I know everyone does this, but this is what everyone does. So we'll see if that happens. I mean, you know, good luck to them. If they can produce this car at this price, it's going to sell extremely well. Thanks for watching.